You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I am back. Rudrance for Black and White Sports, where we're going to talk about NFL general manager Brad Holmes. He works for the Detroit Lions now. In case you haven't noticed, the Detroit Lions were much improved last year. And whatever it is that Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell are selling those guys is working. Not to mention, they are amassing some real talent in Detroit. Gambling issues aside, we saw that. And i got to be honest with you. Hey, Roger Goodell, you're in, you're in bed with, the, uh, with DraftKings and FanDuel. When you start when you start suspending players for gambling, some people are going to start looking back in your direction and raising a eyebrow or giving you the fuzzy eyeball. It's like really you're in bed with gambling, literally. Uh, but okay, it's neither here nor there. That's another subject for another day. So we know the hot topic in sports is, of course, women and girls losing their rights in sports and what i mean by that is allowing biological males to saunter in in some cases exposing themselves like we did a video on yesterday afternoon but people like leah thomas just coming into their sport and dominating no regard completely unfair competitive advantages physical biological advantages And as we saw with the young lady that got injured in the volleyball game, some real safety issues can occur during uh, these events as well, which is something we've really been concerned about, that somebody is going to get extremely hurt. And she has come out and said that she is going to have lasting issues from that incident. So, enter in Detroit Lions general manager Brad Holmes, who has taken a stand and his stand is support women and girls in sports and he's wearing it loudly and proudly to his press conference now in case you're wondering what press conference how about the 2023 nfl draft press conference yeah so uh he brought it out loud and proud and uh there's no confusion about where his stance is when it comes to the rights of women and girls competing in sports. The Daily Wire, an NFL general manager, is making headlines after he showed up to a pre-draft press conference on Thursday and appeared to weigh in on the debate raging about trans-identifying male athletes competing against females in women's sports. The head of the Detroit Lions, Brad Holmes, stepped out wearing a black long-sleeve sweatshirt with a message across the front in white lettering that read, quote, I support women and girls in sports. Surprisingly, no member of the press room asked the GM about his sweatshirt or message he was sending with it, OutKick reported. There is the shirt right there. I support women and girls in sports. Sports commentators at the outlet and in Michigan tweeted out images of the Lions GM shirt and praised Holmes for speaking out for women in sports amid constant stories about trans-identifying male athletes crushing females in various women's sports. Quote, boom, I love it. Out kicks Clay Travis, as you can expect from Clay, tweeted a picture of him out right there from the press conference. Unbelievable. Also, let us not uh, lose sight. Riley Games tweeted it out. Brad Holmes, general manager of the Detroit Lions, sending a message at the pre-draft press conference. Quote, I support women and girls in sports. Amazing. Thank you. Hands clapping. Of course, she's out there putting herself in peril, banging in the drum for support in women's sports for girls and women to continue to compete only against girls and women. Quote, leadership stops, starts at the top. Michigan Sports Network, huge show, tweeted, Lions GM wears a shirt to his press conference in support of women and girls in sports. He's a dad with a daughter. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to get a lot of pushback. I guarantee you, if you have a daughter, you cannot be happy with the direction that things are going 
and the loss of rights women are experiencing right now in sports. Michigan sports writer Dave Burkett tweeted, Lions GM Brad Holmes always rocking a hoodie with a message today, support women and girls in sports. And of course, I just talked about what Riley Gaines said. Gaines has made headlines for speaking out against making females compete against males in sports. She is a former University of Kentucky star who was deprived of the NCAA trophy or award by trans-identifying swimmer Leah Thomas. On Thursday, she tweeted out a clip of North Carolina high school female volleyball star, I just referred to her, Peyton McNabb, speaking to legislators in state after she was severely injured by a trans-identifying male player in a game, suffering a concussion and more. Wow. Uh, I was honored to stand along, alongside her in North Carolina to continue the fight to protect women's sports, and that was Riley Gaines of what it was Peyton McNabb had to say, who is st- still dealing with issues from her competition. Again... Better watch it. This is continuing to happen. I mean, it seems to be like only your your red states are trying to stop this. It's funny. Left wing party is all about oh, it's supposed to be feminist, 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 and now you got feminists switching parties and going and voting for Donald Trump. It's funny how things work. C.C. Telfer, Laurel Hubbard, Alana McLaughlin, all of these. Biological men competing against women, causing unfair advantages. And in the case of swimming, it costs women national championships in swimming. Leah Thomas. One of these days, somebody is going to get hurt. I got to give credit to Brad Holmes for coming out there unapologetically, loud and proud as a dad who has girls supporting women and sports and of course i have not seen backlash to this yet but you can bet the next thing i will do is look for that backlash because i'm sure he took some i mean the leftists on twitter i'm sure they lost their minds i'm shocked we haven't seen oh my god he's a transphobe but it will happen we know how this works Tell me what you think, black and white sports supporters. Good job, Brad Holmes. And you're putting together a hell of a team in a division that is losing Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.